The hoary head is a crown of glory, if it be found in the way of righteousness. He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he that ruleth the spirit than he that taketh a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but the whole disposing thereof is of the Lord. Let me tell you a story. Long ago there was a small village where there was a woman who was known to be a quite angry person, a very abrasive and verbally abusive woman who would go into rage fits over the smallest of issues. Now once the woman was able to calm down she would soon after feel very sorry about her behavior. But her family was constantly left feeling hurt and upset as this was a habit of hers. This left an intense feeling of negativity in the air at the home. One day, a traveling monk arrived at the home of the woman, looking to see if she could spare any money or food. In need of help herself, she asked the monk, O oh, wise one, I get very angry very quickly. Even if I wanted to, I have no control over my anger. Please tell me of a solution to control it. Upon hearing this, the monk removed a small bottle of elixir from his bag and gave it to her. He told her that it was a potion for anger and that at any time she felt angry, she would need to place four drops of the elixir on her tongue, close her mouth and hold it in there for 10 minutes. He told her that she would have to hold the drops in her mouth for 10 minutes or it would not work. After giving her instructions on how to use the elixir, the monk left. And after just seven days, the woman's habit of getting angry had disappeared. After that seven days, the monk had returned and the woman threw herself to his feet, thanking him for the wonders his potion had done for her. The monk responded and said, Young woman, there is no medicine in that bottle. In fact, the vial only contained water. The monk said, You did not control your anger by way of this potion, but by keeping quiet. The moral of the story, the remedy for anger is silence. There are times in our lives when interacting with others where we end up saying things that are not ready to be said or heard for that matter. We do these things for several reasons. For one, we want to be heard and we want others to know that we are somebody, somebody who has an opinion. And we want others to know that our words have value. Sometimes we may say things that are condescending, things that make us feel big as we make others feel small. There is often a reach for validation and respect that is often expected from a seat of entitlement. We may find ourselves going above and beyond to be grounded in our beliefs and expect others to know we are strong in our beliefs. Out of all this comes words that more often than not should not be spoken. From this we should have a better understanding and understand that there is great value in silence.